Hey there, Zill Star. It is finger simple time. So go grab your Zills and let's make some music. My name is Sahira and I'm here to teach you the beautiful art of belly dance. Howdy folks, it is time for another fabulous acapella finger symbol tutorial. Today we're going to be playing with running fives. And what I mean is a grouping of five sixteenth notes in a row. So many people call these fives, people will count them as fives. I'm gonna talk about how you count them with the musician style counting, but really what we're gonna play with is that funky syncopated feeling that this style of running fives gives us. We'll put it together into a little acapella combination and then of course, we will dance to it too. So let's go ahead and dive in. Alrighty, so first we're gonna learn how we are gonna play this and how we are going to count this rhythm. Running fives means a series of five sixteenth notes, a sixteenth note rest, and then you continue with five more strokes. So when I first learned this, I learned to count it one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five which can work, but you have to know kind of where the pause goes and it doesn't really tell you exactly where it goes in the music. If we want to count it with the musician style method, it is going to be one E and a two and a three E and four E and a one and a two E and. You don't have to know that to be able to play this, but it's good to utilize this because it'll show you where the zilling is going to fit with your movement, which we're going to play with in just a second. So I'm going to repeat that musician style counting for you one more time. One E and a two and a three E and four E and a one and a two E and. That's how many we're gonna play. So our first challenge is going to be setting these fives on top of marking time with our body. My favorite way to mark time is to do this little shuffle here. We're gonna think one, two, three, four is our count. So we're going pretty slow, but I want you to feel how the zills are going to fit with the body. And I want to challenge you to be able to keep this really steady while you're playing. So if I count this with the musician style method, it's going to be awesome because you're going to see that this is still one. This is two. This is three. This is four. One E and a two and a three E and four E and a one and a two E and pause. We do it again. One E and a two and a three E and four E and a one and a two E and with basic strokes. Here we go. Pause again. One E and a two and a three E and four E and a one and a two E and. Pause one more time. Yeah. So if you got it, awesome. Congratulations. If you are like, oh my gosh, what just happened? Let me tell you why this is funky. We are stepping squarely on the beat. These fives alternate between starting on the downbeat, on the beat when we're stepping, and then sometimes they start on the upbeat, which is what makes them so cool and so funky sounding and so challenging to play while you dance, right? So for example, one E and a two. That first grouping of five starts on the one, ends on the two, nice and square, easy to go with, right? One E and a two, and a three E and. That second one starts on the and and ends on an and. So it starts and ends on an upbeat, which gives it a little bit of a, of a, of a funky feeling, right? So that sort of syncopation starting on the upbeat is what makes it so fun and what makes it so challenging. So we've got those first two, one E and a two, and a three E and, four E and a one. Whew, that one starts on the four, which maybe feels a little weird, but it's a downbeat, right? It's a, it, we're stepping on the four and it ends on the one. And then if you're following the pattern, you could probably guess that the next one's going to start on an upbeat and a two E and, oh goodness, right? So that's what makes this running five concept so very cool and so challenging. So if that was tough for you, feel free to go back and review that before we add on. Alrighty, so we've played four groupings of five, right? So four groupings of those uh, five sixteenth notes. And we're gonna end with something very simple. We're going to clack our finger symbols on the three and four. So we're just gonna clack three and four. I tend to use both my symbols because it's slow and emphatic that way, yes? So if we're gonna count the whole thing together, let me count it for you once, musician style counting, and then we'll try playing it nice and slow. We've got four sets of fives, then three and four. One E and a two, and a three E and, four E and a one, and a two E and, three and four. 
one e and a two and a three e and four e and a one and a two e and three and four. Yeah, shall we try it? Let's go ahead and try it. We're gonna try it just with a step touch, or if you prefer to kind of mark time by just walking around the room, you could do one, two, three, four. My goal for you here is that you have a steady beat in your body. We want to instantly tie these things and the craziness we're doing to a steady beat in the body because this is going to make dancing with the finger symbols so much easier. So I invite you if you're sitting down to stand up or if you really just need to sit, you can kind of bop in your chair to the time, right? So that you're marking time with your body as you play your finger symbols. So let's get our time going. We're gonna go on five, six, here we go. Again. One more time. Are you feeling it? Let's try it three more times in a row, a little bit slower. And I want you to really be aware. I'm gonna count our rhythm and make sure this is one, this is two, this is three, this is four. Don't let those feet drift, yeah? So six, seven, eight. One E and a two, and a three E and four E and a one, and a two E and three and four. Again, one E and a two, and a three E and four E and a one, and a two E and one more time. You got this. Yes. Nice work. All righty, folks, if you know me, you know what's next. We can't just stand here and do this while we zill, right? We want to dance, right? It's all about dancing. So today, I'm not going to give you a specific combo you need to memorize and put with this pattern. I'm going to give you a basic idea of what we're going to do, and I'm going to take you through several options that you can follow or you can make up your own. As we do those running fives, we're going to do something fairly smooth, and we're going to keep it steady. So what we are going to challenge ourselves with is not matching our movement to the symbols, but doing something more like what we were doing when we were just step touching or walking around. We have something that has a beat, but we're not shifting the beat to the downbeat, to the upbeat, to the downbeat, to the upbeat to match this. We're just keeping this even because a lot of times that is what we do when we play finger symbols and dance. We're doing something steady in the hips and our finger symbols are doing something totally different that doesn't match this. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's say we did those hip drops, right? If I did this for the running fives, and then I'm going to do a, an accented something for those clack, clack, clacks, the three and four. So let's say if I was doing those hip drops, I'm gonna stick with the hips and I'm gonna do like a down, down, down. Oh, and then I can switch sides, right? So perhaps it is one E and a two and a three E and four E and a one and a two E and three and four. Yeah, one E and a two and a three E and four E and a one and a two E and three and four. Now you notice this stayed steady. I didn't do one E and a two and a three E and four E and I didn't try to match this craziness with my hips. You could, but today we're not going to. We're gonna to try to keep those finger symbols going and allow the hips to be steady. Or another option might be sometimes smoother movements are a little bit easier than percussive movements when you're trying to do something new on your zills. So what if we did inner hip rolls? So we did one E and a two and a three E and four E and a one and a two E and maybe three and four. You could hit those accents with your chest up, down, up. One E and a two and a three E and four E and a one and a two E and three and four. So something like that. You get the idea. You have four movements that are nice and steady, smooth or sharp, but smoother. We're going to aim for smoother that maintain their square one, two, three, four beat. And then when we get to that three and four, we'll do three movements that match that clap clack, clack, some accent of some sort. I invite you to follow me, or you can also choose your own adventure and create your own combo as you play around with it. Your main goal, keeping these steady while your body moves 
gracefully, yeah? Easier said than done sometimes. So when you're ready, let's go ahead and try dancing with it. All right, take a nice deep breath. We're doing this a cappella so you can really hear yourself and we can take it at a tempo that feels good to us. So let's go one E and a two and a three E and about that fast here. And a da 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 seven and eight. We go. Star, if you got it, bravo. That is some challenging stuff there and some really fun syncopated rhythms. So kudos to you. If you didn't get it, bravo. You are learning new things. And I love that you have decided to challenge yourself. If you didn't get it, watch the video again. Play with it. Get the idea of those running fives in your head and practice walking around with a steady beat, right? Then practice saying it, whether you say it with the musician style counting or you stick with the one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. As long as you are saying it and you can say it and move, you can eventually play it and move as well. And if you would like to join me for some more delicious goodness and you haven't caught my free Zillstar course yet, I invite you to join me there at sahirabellydances.com slash Zillstar. This course will give you the foundation you need to become the rock star ziller that you were born to be. I thank you so much for joining me on the dance floor, and I look forward to making music with you again soon.